According to GSK, which is the manufacturer of the vaccine, it almost halved the number of malaria cases in young children in the trial and reduced by about 25% the number of malaria cases in infants during the research. And as the British drug maker seeks approval of the world's first malaria vaccine, experts from the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri, have lauded the move. So this is a huge public health impact considering malaria is one of the main killers of children, especially children under the age of five, uh, whereby we have more than 600,000 deaths per year. So the five-year research was carried out in 11 African countries, with Kenya segmented into three regions of Siaya and Kombewa in the western region and, and Kilifi in the coast region, which are among the highly malaria-prevalent areas in the country. The study is being carried out in 11 sites across seven African countries. We have uh, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, Burkina Faso, uh, Gabon, Speaking at Kilifi Kemri site, Principal Investigator Dr. Paulina Koh said the research finding is a major milestone in malaria control after successful studies carried out in the last 18 months across the 11 sites indicated a chance of remarkable eradication of the killer disease. So when we have a tool like this one, which is going to reduce the number of cases, we are going to have a better a health I mean, healthier communities and then the mothers and the other people uh, can be able to be, uh, utilize that time to do other things, economic activities and, you know, improve their lives rather than spend the time at the hospital with a sick child. At the Cambridge Walter Reed Project in Kombewa, Dr. Walter Utieno, a senior pediatrician and principal investigator in the research project, says the results of the research is commendable, stating that the RTSS vaccine will help save many deaths resulting from malaria. Mm -hmm. Things are looking very good. Uh, this research has yielded a lot because at the moment we now have a vaccine which will potentially prevent children from getting money. Results indicated that 18 months after the vaccination, children aged 5 to 17 months had 46% reduction in the risk of clinical malaria compared to unvaccinated contemporaries. However, in infants aged 6 to 12 weeks at the time of vaccination, there was only a 27% reduction in risk. Winikizia reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.